Hi, I'm Sam from Chrism Acrylic Pouring and we're based in East Sussex in the UK. Today I'm going to show you how I painted this. There are two techniques, a swipe and a balloon kiss. This is part of a commission of three, which I will show you at the end of the video, the three completed paintings. First thing we need to do is get some white base on. I don't need a lot on here, uh, it, but when I do the balloon kisses, I want to expose some white underneath. So I'll put a little bit more up here and not so much down here because this is where I'm going to have the main bulk of the colours. So this is a Dulux silk emulsion that um, is mixed with my pouring medium, which is 70%, um, sorry, I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to multitask, 70% <laughs> um, PVA and 30% water mixed together. And then the silk emulsion and the pouring medium are mixed 50-50 to um, get a really lovely consistency. So I'm just going to spread this over and to save you the boredom of watching paint being spread, I'll be back in a second. The paint's all on, now we can start playing. So I've mixed up a variety of colours um, and I will be very conscious about where I'm actually putting the colours up here. Um, so I'm just going to lay some down with a little bit of gay abandon <laughs> down here. So this one is um, Cobalt Violet um, Pebio. And I might just take a little, just a little bit across there. Um, and then this one is De La Rowney Graduate uh, Gold. Um, and this is a gorgeous colour and I'm going to, I will bring a little bit up here. Um, then we have, this is, <laughs> this is a colour I made myself. So it's, um, quite a sort of pinky reddy colour. Then, um, this one is Amsterdam Thalo Blue, which is glorious especially in Dutch pores when you blow the paint out on this one oh my goodness it's just stunning um, I might just take a little bit up up there and um, Amsterdam Carmine this is a really nice red as well and I'm going to pop some orange in. Now I'm going to use this orange for the swipe but I'm just going to pop a little bit on here as well and then I think I shall have some emerald green. This is made by X4 or this is X4 um, made by, uh, do you know what? I'm not sure who it's made by. Um, anyway it's a lovely colour and some iridescent red blue as well. So there are lots of different ways that you can do swipes and how you apply the colour as well. This is the way that I, I like to just apply the colour. Um, you use a lot less um, paint, so you use more, more of your cheaper white base and less of your more expensive uh, coloured paints um, rather than I've seen some people do them in big stripes and then tilt the canvas to spread the colour but it does use an awful lot of paint uh, so I'm going to put in um, some Prussian blue I might just take a little bit up here there we go and um, this one is the Pebio iridescent gold. I like a bit of gold. There we go. I think, I think we're, oh, let's just put a cheeky bit of iridescent blue green in as well. Why not? 
there we go okay so that's the first part um, and now I'm going to go on to mixing the swipe colour the swipe colour I'm using is um, a mix of iridescent Pebio iridescent orange with um, I popped a little bit of uh, red in and some gold and there's also some Amsterdam um, I'm not sure what you, Azo orange in there as well so I wanted um, a sort of rich tone to the colour um, pour in my swipe and I'm going to water it down as well so it flows over the top of the paints a bit better I might just put a little bit more in there we go okay and then some silicon in as well I'm using Pebio silicon for this one but um, I also use all sorts of other products anything that's got dimethicone in it um, so one of the favorites is um, L'Oreal Elvive Extraordinary Hair Oil that works superbly for doing swipes um, okay right so I'm going to lay the paint across the top here and make sure I'm ready with my plastic so just pour this gorgeous orange over hope I've got enough <laughs> Squeeze it out. I think we'll be fine. Okay. Next thing grab a piece of plastic I've drawn an arrow on here uh, <laughs> two reasons one is once it goes on down onto um, a surface you can't see it because it's transparent and also uh, this is my favorite edge for doing the swipe on so as long as I know which edge then I can swipe so I'm going to lay the plastic down make sure it's fully engaged onto the paint and then just slowly pull And then put on a piece of tissue paper, towel, and give it a wipe off. And then lay down again. And do the same thing again. I may, it looks like I might have to pull down again in a few sections, um, which is fine. You can you can swipe over a few times. Just finish this last one off. You can see some of the cells coming up through already. So with um, a smaller piece, I'm going to bring the paint down again.
There we go. There's a middle section there that I can see as well. And I think I'll go here as well. end bit okay oh. <laughs> one more bit lovely i'm going to give that a torch now and see what uh, see what delights come up So I'm going to leave that now. Um, the paint needs to start to dry, sort of thicken. So when I do my balloon kisses, the paint won't self heal. If it's too runny, then um, it'll all just, as soon as you dob it on there, it'll just go <laughs> back in again. So um, this is where a little bit of patience is required. And it also gives me a chance to see how the cells are developing, whether I need to do any more torching. But to be quite honest, the cells are coming up so beautifully. I don't think I, I'll need to do any more torching. So we'll come back in a short while. I'm back. Uh, I've left it for about 15 minutes. I've had a cup of tea I've fed my sourdough starters so I can bake later so now I'm ready to go I'm just using just a happy birthday balloon this one's a bit deflated um, but I'm going to do a test and see how it is and whether I need to leave the paint for a bit longer so I'm going to just push down lift up Perfect. Oh, I think my paint's ready. You can see there's no, no movement here. So I'm going to just wipe my balloon and go again. Oh, they're beautiful. So I've just got a little bit of colour going through. Well, that was a nice big one. <laughs> Grab some more paper towel. And I think we'll do one right up here. Lovely. Maybe just a little one here. And then one in here. So I can see there's going to be quite a lot of blue in this one. Oh, no, I picked up the blue on the end <laughs> of my balloon. Okay. Now I might do a couple more 
little ones there another one there and it's knowing when to stop so I think I will stop so once the paint is a little bit drier I'm going to come back and I'll just pop a little center in just to give the dandelions a bit more definition now I'm ready to put the centers in I've just got some black paint and oh there's lots of bubbles coming up <laughs> pop a little bit in there come on there we go You can see that it just look at the definition it it creates. I gave the um, the balloon kisses um, a little torch just to eliminate any bubbles that may have occurred whilst dobbing with the balloon. There we go. And now I need to do some stalks. So I'll drag a stick through and then depending on how it looks, I might do a little bit of embellishment uh, once the painting's dry, just to give it um, some more emphasis. So I'll just take a stick and I drag through. And you can see it's all sort of healed here. So the paint's still too wet down here. It was it was fine up here, but just too wet down here. So I'm going to leave this and um, come back to it once the paint is dry. This is the trilogy finished. And um, let's go in and have a look. So this is the one that I was showing you how to paint earlier. And as you can see, the dandelions have come out really well. I added um, some stalks to it once the painting was dry. And here are the other two. So this is um, a lovely blue-green iridescent colour on this one. And this one has a lovely pinky-red iridescent as well. So these th this three trilogy, <laughs> we have um, a sunrise, a midday and a sunset. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and I hope to bring you another video soon. Thank you.